Hey everyone. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting. Kathy Zilski here. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. I am back after two weeks of cold and I'm here and oh my goodness, I'm telling you what, it feels really good. It feels nice to have this time slot today. I'll tell you why. I had a dentist appointment that I canceled when I was sick and so I had to reschedule it and I thought, you know what, just go at noon. So I have to be done by 1.30 because I have to go to the dentist. But you know, I actually might keep this time for the summer. And part of the reason is because it's, it gets very hot in here and it's much nicer earlier in the day. So welcome, it's great to see you all here. And what did you think of that silly little opening? Um, I've seen a lot of live streamers who do presentations do that. And mostly it was just to let people uh, get a chance to get here for the live. So it does take up a little more time and you know, I don't really always want to do that. Um, but welcome. Hey, great. Emma's here. Good to see you. Also, I'm just wondering if the, do, can you hear me okay? Because today when I restarted my computer, uh, it looked like the mic levels were a lot lower and I didn't change a thing. So hoping I sound okay out there. Um, also, I do want to mention this before I forget it. Are you ready? Because something's happening Friday night. 6 10 central time is when it kicks off. I am going to be a guest on Craft Roulette. I am going to play with Mary Gunn. We are going to have a blast. She and I had so much fun the other day just doing our little tech thing to make sure that all the cameras were working. And so I, I'm excited. Yeah, I might be a little low. Okay, I don't know why. I'm going to bump up and see if that makes a difference. All right. Um, but yeah, so come set a reminder because this is going to be really fun and it's Friday night, central time, 6, 10 PM. I will remind people definitely from my, uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, newsletter, definitely going to remind you. So just come join us. It's going to be, well, it's going to be a hoot nanny. Okay. Um, yeah, again, I'm not sure if I hit something on my microphone. I don't know. I'm looking up at it, but I think we're going to be good. At least I'm not going to have any, um, what is it called when it falls apart and it's terrible. All right, let's take a look at what's happening today, shall we? To the table. Okay. Again, welcome everyone. It's great to have you here and I'm going to see, I have a little keyboard and I'm going to put that away now because I don't need it. Um, but I had computer problems. If you follow me on social media, my main machine was down Oh, for a week and a half. And I had to learn how to do a lot of different things here on my laptop, which normally I only use for this sort of thing. But that's, that's a story for another day. Oh, Mary is here. Mary, good to have you. Good to have you. Okay. And I do want to say, speaking of, I did put one link in my uh, description already about Backblaze. If you have a computer and you value your content, you should back up in your space, but you should also consider backing up offsite. And this company saved my Tushka. Um, and I am so grateful for how easy it was to use. And I think I paid for a year, but anyway, Backblaze, I got a link. It's an affiliate link. So like I would get a free month if you use my link, but I'm telling you, you gotta back up. You gotta have those backups. If you work uh, from home or if you have photos, that was the main thing I was concerned about is I just wanted my photos, but all right, here we go. So I don't know how many of you have seen the, these adorable weekend market dies. They're so cute. I'm going to do something with today with this. And here's what I thought. They're all so cute. I'm going to cut everything out with my baby, with my little guy. So I thought we would get started with some stamping. All right. And again, great to have you here. This is, this is going to be interesting for me today because... Uh, paper piecing. Let me grab my, my Misty. Paper piecing, you know, it's a thing. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I, well, I'm going to give it a try today. I'm going to give it a try. There we go. Also, my grandkitty is sleeping on his back right now, but I, I, you know what? Fool me once. He's fooled me too many times and I'm like, I'm not gonna... Uh, I'm not going to deal with the, with the whole, I'm going to get the camera set up and he's not going to be there. Hold on. I'm going to grab something. Uh, let's see. Can I use 
this? Probably. Okay, I have an idea. I'm actually gonna ye Well, that's not it. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Kathy, you should have been more, well, okay, I can't find my jig. I'm gonna use a little insert mat. Oh yeah, Mindy, you did, didn't you? All right, I have many sticky mats. I haven't used this a whole lot, and I don't even know, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. We're making a brick background, okay? Starting out here, and this is what side? Okay, I'm gonna peel this off. Well, thank you, Irinka. I love this new space so much, and I do get a lot of folks that, that do say how much they miss the craft slash dining room, and I get it, I get it, but I don't. Because having a place, oh my gosh, look at this. This is my, this is my strength, or my workout for the day. Having a place that is, uh, let me make sure I do this on the right side. Having a place, and I'm gonna be trimming this down too, so that's gonna be just fine. Let's, right, okay, in the corner. Having a place that's dedicated, I haven't been live in a couple weeks, so forgive me, I'm feeling a little frantic. It's really nice to be up here, and you know, I know it's a luxury. I trust me, I get it. I know, this stuff is huge. I'm gonna prime because if you if you have the time, do the prime. Okay, it's gonna be a little bad sounding. Is that waking the cat wake up? No, he's he's upside down, happy as can be. Vicky, great to see you. I know some uh, Garrett. I had someone say someone asked me. Maybe it was my husband. Oh, there's a bubble there. Let's work this out. He said, "Do you miss saying that?" I'm like, "No, I'm good." It's just. Oh, there's bubbles everywhere. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta make it right. Come on, we can do it. Take the time, do it right. We can do it, baby. Do it all night. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a pebble gray wall. So this is pebble. And if I don't have, like, if I don't do a great job with this, I'm gonna stamp it again. But um, yes, Lynn, I'm, I'm glad to be well too. I mean, I do have liquid in case I start coughing. Mm. Sponsored by LaCroix, um, <clears throat> but I think we're going to be fine. All right, we're in the corner. We're going to take our pebble, and I'm going to overstamp on this a little, but I think that's okay. All right, let's add that pebble because it's going to dry back so nicely, and that's what I'm hoping for is this just this nice little gray wall, and then we're going <laughs> to we're going to die cut a lot of things. I didn't do anything early. I didn't. Uh, I think I have enough room here. Let's in the corner drop. All right. Oh, look at how cool that looks. Just like that. Like a, like a graffiti wall almost. And I don't even know, I may not need to stamp this twice, but I may. Although I may just go with the graffiti wall. I don't know. Yes, Adrian. Thank you. That was it. That was it. <laughs> I, I, uh, oh, there was a lot of good dancing that happened back back in the day. All right, let's see. Did I miss a few spots? Let's go and just get the... There we go. Now I'm going to have that song in my head all day. Oh, I'm telling you. Anyway, it's great to see everyone here. Thank you so much for joining. And so that's better. I'm going to give it a little more. It could be a little bubbly. So let's go just light, just light pebble. And then we're gonna set it aside and we're not gonna think about it, okay? We're not gonna think about it. We're not gonna talk about it. No, no, you're gonna have to look away. All right. This morning, however, oh, I think I was bubbled up there. I was, uh, I shared a link on Instagram stories to a performance that I saw on the YouTube this morning, Alanis Morissette doing thank you. And that woman, she can still sing and the way she knows how to like move her mouth away because she has so much power, she can't even sing straight into a mic. Amazing. All right, I think that's good. I'm not sure why we're looking a little drippy there, but here's the thing. We're cleaning and we're walking away, okay? We're not gonna think about this. We're not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, anyway. That's my story. See, I forgot. I, I have no personality now. All of a sudden, I'm like, what? what did I? Wait, doesn't this bend like the others? Oh, maybe not. Hold on. 
Is it coming? There we go. There we go. See, I'm used to my, um, what is it called? The, my stamp mat. Oh, I think this is going to curve a bit. Oh my gosh. This is so sticky. All right, here we go. There we go. Come on. I'm trying not to curve the crap out of my cards. Holy buckets, Charlie. This is, all right, we're just going <laughs> to, I do not want to bend my paper and I just bended, I just bended. It is, it is so stuck. It tore my paper. All right. Well, that I was not expecting. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I didn't love that. <laughs> so, you know what? Guess what? I'm going to do it again because here's the thing. Um, I think. Ah, here we go. Yeah, that's bizarre. I've never had that happen before. All right, let's use the stamp and stencil mat. It is still usable, but what you can't see off camera, I literally creased it here and creased it here. So that's okay. I'm just, you know, I, I think that mat was not for me. I grabbed it when really I probably should have gone with what I know. So let's try it again. It was sticky. It was the first time I was using it, and yes, now we're conditioned. All right. Yeah, my stamp's conditioned, so there you go. You know what? It's just paper. And I think, well, here's what I think. I think as a crafter, you don't have to force yourself to stick with anything. You know why? This is your hobby. You're having a good time, right? And if you don't want, look at that. <laughs> I'm just moving all over the place. If you don't want to use a piece that you just used, that's okay. Just get another piece of cardstock. I'll let it dry and we'll see what it looks like. All right, I think, well, I did miss that little spot in there again. I think there's a bubble. Oh, here you go. How about that? Better? Yeah, I don't even know if I need to stamp that again, but maybe, maybe I will. Just a light. This. <laughs> This whole video is just going to be on stamping walls. That's it. And then, and then she tried it in another gray. Um, I do keep a junk uh, pile of experiments and I usually, my hubby just takes them and makes really cute shopping lists when he goes to Target. And that cracks me up. Okay, this is going to dry really smooth and it's going to look great. So don't worry about those little blotchies. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm a professional. Although, you know what? I'm going to leave that in there for now. And we're going to, we're going to wipe this off. But it's a little there. I do have some stamp mat cleaner. I know at this point with what time is it? 15 minutes to do this. This was supposed to be my in and out. All right. There, there we go. Come on now. Now you're coming off. See that? That's what I wanted. Even though I did bend it a tiny bit. Uh, we're good to go. Okay. And that concludes our video. <laughs> it concludes our video today. So thank you so much for watching. Um, that's how you do a wall more than once. All right. Now it's time to, well, let's just leave that. Like I said, let's leave that in here and set this aside. All right. So here we go. We have many things to talk about here and this will get trimmed down and I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it there so that I have a little brick framing my head. That's kind of cute. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to think for a minute, but I've got to show you, I've got this great little, uh, I've got a whole thing here of cardstock. Now, oh, so this is my little scrap bin and this is all Concord and Ninth scraps. Now I have my little friend here so that if I forget what a color is called, I should be able to figure this out. But here's what we're gonna do. Now I think a bag would be really cute with this. So I'm gonna just take these off and set them up. I think that would be cute for that. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna have to move you. And I think what I would like to do, where's the stamp set? Does this have wine? Oh, for wine bottles too. Okay, don't know about that yet, but I think 
I'm gonna take off her legs. I'm gonna, oh, wait, roll up from both. Oh, you mean on the, on the sticky mat? Oh, those are her shoes, right? Feet, hands, shoes. Okay, sorry, it's just taking me a minute. Do we want to do a baguette too? We could, we could do a baguette. Um, those are her pants. And for shoes, I'm just gonna take these all off for a second. Now the thing, the thing is, I could have done all this in advance, but I thought, why, why, ouch, why not just, you know, you know, just do this? Um, because I do want to have a basket, okay? So there's that, We've got some blooms. We've got a big bloom. We've got a baguette. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's a little bow. I think that's one of the arms. <laughs> but I will say, can I just say how much I appreciate um, that these are all detabbed and ready to go. Blooms, okay, gotcha. Wine bottle though. I mean, if I, oh, hey Simon, if I'm going somewhere, wouldn't I? Whoop! This is the one I actually want to try because it's the bouquet. Uh, like I said, could have done this, could have done this off camera, but you know, no, no. I've been waiting to, I've been waiting to go live for for three weeks. It's time, okay. Because one of the things that I love about Concord and Night is that you get this, right? I could literally stick this to my. Oh, it would stick on my little board here. Hold on here, there we go. All right, I'm sticking it and I'm going to think about the colors of pants. Now, if this were me, mm, and it's not, because my side profile is not quite that slim, I would get, hold on here. All right, I also have more Concord and Night here. So I, I want to give this little friend some pants. And you know, maybe, I mean, if it were me, they would either be gray or khaki. I wear a lot of gray pants. So, you know, I think I'm gonna make gray pants. And I feel like this might be, <laughs> which one is this? This might be the, and I should know this. Okay, cobblestone. All right, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna start cutting. And I'm gonna move all these over here and we're gonna bring them back in as needed, but check it out. Okay, we got baby sidekick. <laughs> this is gonna be so crazy. Okay, got the little got the little friend here, and we're gonna we're gonna suction it down. Uh wait, no, we're gonna suction it this way, okay? And go. Okay, how are we doing out there? This is this is great. Now I also have here my little baby trimmer. And somewhere I have plates. Now I think I will start here. And knowing full well that we're just gonna start with this little friend. You know what, I don't even think I need my trimmer because here's what I can do. Hold up. <laughs> I can just hold this up and cut, okay? Oh, this is, this is a three ring circus. Oh, let's cut on, I like cutting into the same little plate. All right, first one's going through. Let's see how it does. I don't know. I mean, do I need to switch to a big trimmer? I don't think so. So let's go. Yeah, welcome everyone. So the new time, oh, this does go through so nicely though. And it's so quiet. Love it. Love it. All right. Uh, so let's see what happens. Oh, I think it worked. Ready? That is dang cute. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends, we have we have that we have a bag. All right, I'm actually going to get my trash out too cuz I got to be scraping some things into the trash. All right. So, bag is done. Is that fun? Anyway, how's everyone doing? I will tell you a little story, and the story is this. Yeah, back up back up your computers, my friends, because it took 5 days. 5 days for my computer to come back. And that was insane, but I'm grateful for it. Okay, we're gonna do gray pants because, like I said, Kathy, you know, I don't do a lot of color. So I'm gonna just say, let's see, I'm gonna measure this really quick. So what are these? Two and a half inch plates. So I'm gonna take, I wish I had more room, and I don't, and that's okay. I'm gonna just come in here, and I'm gonna come in, 
and cut this right at two and a half. And I might need to do two, all right, so that I can just run those through. There we go. There we go. Yeah, and welcome everyone. Like I said, good to have you here. I think, again, could I have done a lot of this off camera? Maybe. But, you know, sometimes it's just fun to make stuff and see what happens. Now, this is not super complicated um, paper piecing, right? I don't even think I need to go more than that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. There's my leg and a little bit of my booty. <laughs> Get that. Yeah, you. And look, this is perfect for a little die cut machine. Hmm? How many people have a little die cut machine? I did not for the longest time. And Tim did send this to me. He said, Kathy, I got one laying around. If you want it, you can have it. And I said, yes, please. And so that is why I have this little machine. And okay, let's see, which way does her knee, her knee goes that way. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, see the, okay. We, we need to move on. I'm putting these all away, but anyway, Tim sent it to me and I thought, you know what? That's so nice of you. And thank you so much. And that's, that's my story. Now I need a little white card stock here. Oh shoot. You know what? Let me grab one more piece. Can I, can I show you something that's kind of cool that I did this week? Um, I bought these little plastic things that Sika from Sky Paper Scissors told me about. And I am putting all of my Concord and Ninth cardstock in these little folders. I had to cut them down by about a half an inch and I rounded the corners and then I got an extra set of labels uh, in order to uh, store this easily so I can sort it out. Now, I am going to just cut a piece without much thought. Yeah, let's just do that. And I'll worry about measuring later. Right now, the cat is sleeping uh, right on. <laughs> He's sleeping on the Tim Holtz rotary trimmer. So we can't do, use that tool right now. So let's get a nice little piece of white here. Oh, I should be smarter and get the arm too. Which one is the arm? I feel like, I feel like this might be the arm. Yep. Okay. Let's do these both. I'm gonna get a little piece of tape. So some of you do have the little ones. I wondered about the little Gemini, is it called the mid, midi, midi, mini? Um, I, I just never thought there would be a use, but I think this is pretty cool. Uh, Casey in California, yeah, it does. Uh, it does, I believe, but I don't, oh, you mean the mini? Hmm, that one I don't know. Okay, so that's a little shirt. Now this would be me, because I do like white or black. Oh, maybe I should have done black, because let's be real, I don't, I don't do white that often. And there's, there's my arm. <laughs> so cute. Okay. All right, moving on. So now let's get something for our body parts. Our body parts. Now, Here's feet and shoes, and we had a hand here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. Where did the hand go? <laughs> did I leave it on the piece? Hold on. Nope. Does, does anyone does anyone see the hand? Where did the hand go? There's that. There's the shoe. Oh, am I just blind? Where did the little hand go? Okay, hold on. We got to lift this up. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm probably going, Kathy, Kathy, we got a hand. Okay. Um, steel rule dies are basically, it's so, it's so interesting. Some, well, this is my understanding. I thought the, I thought it was generic, but maybe it's not. Um, it might not be. All right. I think I'm going to get a piece of, oh, do I have it? Mm, let me see here. Do I have any? No, yes, I'm gonna use nectar for her skin. I think that's the closest I have to creating something close to my skin tone. So let's do a foot and let's do a hand. 
Thank you. I, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. And now, see, this is why sometimes I use tape every time I die cut because, you know, see, Dab, it is. Things go flying. The only difference with what I'm doing right now versus if you weren't here, there would be more swearing because, you know, just some swearing. But we like to keep our channel. We like to keep our channel with positive rating and spread the good vibes. Now for shoes, I think I would like this friend to have a dark colored shoe. And maybe, maybe, again, I'm just digging through all my scraps over here. So you got the bin and I think, ooh, I like this. I like that for the shoe. Okay, because I am sort of a coordinated girl, and maybe the maybe the the this or the bottom of the shoe could be uh, the same color as the pants. All right, so let's do that. Okay, all right. So how's everyone out there? You need to, oh you need oh there are two feet. Thank you. I would have I would have caught that eventually. See paper piecing. I'll just do these now while I'm here. Two feet, and uh, no, I was gonna stick a hand in there. I do need a yeah. It's coming. It's coming. Thank you. All right. Now you are there as well. Oh, and I'm going to cancel that call. My best friend was just calling me, and does she not know? Does she not know that I live stream on Wednesdays? What is her deal? Okay, we're gonna get another foot. Thank you for that. Two feet, and in we go. All right. I don't know. Um, I don't know how how this is gonna all come together at the end of the day. But I hope you're having as much fun as I am. <laughs> this is more fun than going to the dentist. Although you know, I I do like my dentist. They're they're pretty great people, and it's just for a teeth cleaning. So how bad? How bad can that be? Famous last words. Okay, so now we are going to move on to, I'm gonna over here, I'm going to get some greenery because I do want to have a bloom in the thing. So let's, let's open this up. And I think I'm gonna pull out, is this asparagus or avocado? I think this is avocado, which is beautiful. So we'll do that, okay? And I'm just gonna take these scissors again. Okay. I think for those of you who like paper piecing, and who knows, I mean, I may turn into being one of those people. I don't know. I actually don't know if I will, but I might. Um, so I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do this. I might be one of those people. I did a video last week with, uh, what was it called? Uh, Spellbinders, a really cute kit club. And it took me off, it was a short video, but it took me a long time off camera to figure out what I was doing. But oh my gosh, the end results, they were absolutely adorable. So, you know, it's never say never, right? Okay, so these are some bloom heads and I don't know how many I will use, but we're gonna set this aside too. I think I will put a baguette in because I just think that's so cute. And I'm going to also make the baguette out of, let's see here, craft. I'm just trying to use my scraps to the best of my ability. And, uh, well, I gotta cut some. All right. I don't have all of the new colors yet from, well, I have all the new uh, colors, I should say, let me rephrase that. I don't have full packs. I have samples because Concord and Knife, um, I taught for an event and they sent me, uh, they sent me stuff. So I have a bunch of half sheets, which is very exciting. One thing I wonder is how long will these little baby plates last? Like, do they last a long time? I, I truly have not used these baby plates all that much. Oh, that's cute too. All right. Um, do I want my bread though to be 
dark on the outside. I'm looking at, I think I do. I'm going to go, I'm going to go darker on the outside and I'm not a hundred percent sure what that is yet. So I'm going to set that there. Oh, that's the bag for the bread. Cute. Okay. Uh, let's get the darker color for, I think this is the nutmeg. Okay. And we're just going to cut a little. So all the scraps just go right back in. Okay, Allison, and I wonder too, um, thank you for that, Allison. I wonder if part of it is just smaller plates. You know, the larger your plates get, the more they are apt to warp. At least that has been my experience. So, you, got, you know, yeah, who, who knows? Hard to say. Boy, we're going to have some fun gluing too, but I don't think it's going to take an inordinate amount of time. Okay, so let's go here and here. And there's your bread and there's your bag. So cute. All right. Now I'm going to get some flowers. So let's get that bloom because I like tulips. I mean, here's the thing too. You don't have to make the most complicated card, right? You can, you know, just kind of do your thing. But I would say I, I would like to have all of these on, um, what is it called? A magnet, a big magnet sheet, because I think for me, being able to see them all definitely makes it seem a little more doable. All right, now you know me. Oh, oh we gotta do some dragon fruit and maybe tulips on one, or maybe dragon fruit and pink lemonade. Wait, is that, no, that's sweet pea. Is that pink lemonade? Let me check. See, I'm still identifying these all from, oh, hey, Lisa, from uh, memory, but I do think, no, that's, that's carnation. Oh, I like that. Okay. Uh, more blooms. Let's see here. What other bloom would I want? I don't know if I'm going to put my flowers in a little folded bag or not, but let's, uh, let's move on. Okay. It's a lot of stuff here, but you know, I, I, I just, uh, I think it's, I think it's very fun. And here's the other thing that's great too. You can get so much, and probably those of you who do this thing on a regular basis, you already know this, but you really do get a lot of use out of scraps for paper piecing, right? And maybe I am a person that likes paper. I don't know. I might be. I don't think I'm going to do that bloom, though. Well, you know what? I'll do one, and we'll see if we like it. How about that? Just get right in there. Oh, there's my little tape. I can just go like that. And here we go. Again, welcome, good to have you here. And thank you, thank you for being here today. I, you know, I go live once a week, that's the goal, but have not been because I was sick for a couple weeks. And lives are, well, they're different, right? Because it's, I do a lot of premiere videos during the week and those are pre-taped videos. So those are fun and I love them, but those are also videos where I get to just type in the in the chat, which is which is fun. All right, um, jewels, not tools. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop this up here. There we go. I don't know. I may use one of those. I may use one of those. Don't know yet. Oh, those are pretty too. That I wasn't expecting. All right. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to look like that. Now, I think I'm also going to take a little scrap mm -hmm. like this. I mean, we're very close, right? I don't think I need to do a whole lot more, but what I can't decide is, I'm gonna do some of these as tulips too. Well, you'll, you'll see soon enough. We'll see soon enough. Well, I mean, Cheryl, yeah, if I, <laughs> if I had a glass of wine, I kinda, I'm kinda off my wine kick. I, I go on and off kicks throughout the years and it's kinda hilarious, to be honest with you. It's a, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it is what it is. Oh, I need souls. I need souls. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, I think drinking and paper piecing, I think it would be fun, but let's just say, I don't know if it would be as effective. Um, I think we might have some issues there. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, it moved while I was looking up at the screen. Don't look at the screen. Focus and achieve. We need two souls. See you later, Rosie. Glad you were here today. Thanks for visiting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Drop. You coming out? Come on. 
Oh my gosh, Franklin is still here. I'm shocked. I, to, of all the days to have the camera set up, and today, yeah, he, he's, he's, you know, he's a young cat. He's going to do his whole thing. Fruit salad live with Gina would be hilarious. As long as my fruit salad gets to be just straight wine and not sangria. Because I don't, yeah, I, I don't love sangria. I, I don't have I, I don't have a strong tolerance for many things, um, but I do like wine. I do like wine. Okay, now we have our things, and I actually think I think we're good for now. Um, I might I might do more, but here's what I'm worried about right now. I'm worried that I'm gonna misplace all of these little pieces. So hold on just a second. I'm gonna set this aside. And I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab a little pocket that I have not set up. Um, I don't wanna put these back on, but I also don't wanna lose them. Oh shoot, I was thinking about doing that one too. Let's see. Cause this is just an accident waiting to happen and where I'm gonna lose things. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. All right, coming on in. How are we doing? 12.30, oh, it's weird to look at the time and it's 12.30, it's not, uh, 3 30 but I definitely like this I like this because it feels like keep that out for now this might be well it might be a way to go okay I am going to cut one more um, because I should have done that but this way things will stay we're not getting too fancy but yeah I'm going to get them I have a magnet sheet right now um, but it's not quite ready to roll so I'm going to grab, uh, the, uh, what was I going to cut out? I just want to see what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to just run this through my Gemini real quick because I still have it. In fact, check it out. Die cut cam. Now let me ask you this. Do you notice oh, where my plates go? Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Do you notice anything different? Like, does the die cut cam look weird? Um, and the reason I'm asking today is because I gave my old phone to my son because it, his his phone broke, and I felt really bad. And I, I'm like, we don't. I'm like, well, do you have money for a new one? He's like, no. I'm like, well, you can have my old iPhone. And I was gonna give him my old iPhone, but my old iPhone was so old it didn't work with the new software. And so, see? And so I gave, I, I am now using an iPhone 7, my old iPhone 7 as my video camera and I gave him what I was using over there, which was my iPhone 11. So it probably looks the same, but Okay, we got so many pieces now, here we go. Before we move on though, and yes, I'm gonna put magnetic stuff on here. I love, maybe they will just be tulips. I absolutely love the Stampin' Storage magnets. I know they're expensive, but you know what? I just think they're so cool. And now I'm gonna make a wall. And even though I kind of missed this just a little bit, I think, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, mm, hold on. I have a vision. I have a vision. It may or may not work, but here's what we're going to do. Let me think this through. I think this will work. Let me grab her body. And I can't, I can't grab you. And that, and I, I'm going to make it work. And if it doesn't work, at least you'll know that I tried. And really, isn't that what it's all about at the end of the day? Isn't it? Okay, I'm going to cut this panel. Oh, but I want it to be straight. So let's try that. Let's try making it straight. Okay. She's a brick. Do, 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 wall. <laughs> she is gray. Pebble is the color. Oh, that was a terrible song. Okay, we're going to run through again. And back to die cut cam. All right. Oh, it's a little shaky though. The camera shakes.
Uh, yes, the, um, well, this can be wider up top if I want it, but the Gemini, because it's an old iPhone, it does, well, it does just a fine job. Okay, we're gonna close that, well, put that away. So let me get my note card. Oh, shoot, don't do that. And actually, you know what? I feel like this needs a little shoring up. So I'm gonna grab that piece of cardstock and we're gonna cut it. I think I just messed that up, didn't I? Yeah, okay, let's just, we're... <laughs> I want two layers of cardstock together, did I? You know what? It is not my, you know, I'm out of touch. I'm, I'm not out of, wait, no, I'm not out of touch. I didn't mean to say that. I'm out of it, I'm out of practice. Okay, I'm gonna run that through because I want it to have more. There we go. And this is the Concord and Ninth white cardstock. So this is not as heavy as my Nina Solar White Classic Crest. But the thing that's really nice about the Concord and Ninth cardstock is how smooth it is. Oh, it's so smooth and it just blends like butter. Not that I'm blending, but I just really like, I like the vibe. Okay, so we're gonna do this first. Let's get a little tape runner. Maybe I'll come in a little bit here. Okay, and I'll get my liquid glue writ. Oh, but you know what? No, no, we're fine. All right, we're not assembling the card yet. We're just figuring out the pieces. So I've got some tape runner here. This is just my Gina K, right? Love this tape runner. And all I'm gonna do is just line it up right on here. Come on there. For a little bit of thickness, like that, okay? Did I do a good job? Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so my wall is set aside. Now, let me get my note card, because I think this is gonna help me figure out the pieces. Although, well, we'll see. I bring some things in here. There we go, all the little pieces. There you go, where's your arm? There's your arm. Feet, we got feet, we got, all right, we're ready to start gluing. Hold on. I'm just gonna score this really quick so I have a note card in front of me. And it will be top folding, right? So we're gonna go like that, right at five and a half. So we take our 11 by four and a quarter, we fold it down, and we have a note card. You know, in every video, I still include every time I make a card base. And the only reason I do it, I think part of it's just because I'm used to doing it, but I also figure if someone's watching my channel for the first time or they've never made a card, they might wonder, like, how do people do that? And that's how we do it. Okay, so see, now we're going to have, oh, I think I think the idea is going to work because it's not going to be, it's not going to be the full wall. We're not, we're not doing that. All right. I, oh, that's where the little bow comes from. I just noticed the little bow die, but Irregardless, let's do some gluing. Yeah, I need paper. Okay, got a little scrap paper, okay? And here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna move some things and we're gonna start gluing some things. And I think I'm going to start with doing my shoes so let's actually pick up i know let's let's just work methodically okay shoes feet feet see once you break it down soles soles okay yeah yeah okay now they're done now they move aside now you could do this with uh i could do this with a little bit of uh what is it called micro dots, but honestly, if I just do this, it'll be fine, because you can just go right here on the edge, pick it up, paper, piece it down, like that. 
Look at that. It's like I knew or I know what I'm doing. I can add the bow when I get, yeah. I could cut, I can cut the bow. If I decide, if I decide to put the flowers into the basket. See, this is why, look at that. You can't even see it, it's so tiny. This is why I love my Connect glue bottle, this little squeeze bottle. Um, it gives you such tiny dots. Now I'm gonna, gotta put the shoes on the feet, okay? It's time to cover up those feet. They look a lot like my feet. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. I could put it on, no, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna do one there. These little wax tools though are very nice for picking up paper piecing. Look at, there's there's your shoe. Oh, make sure your toes don't stick out of your shoes. Oh, that's so cute. That's really cute. She's coming together. Oh, there, you could sing Aerosmith. Come together. Oh, that's the Beatles. The Beatles. Um, do you know why I was thinking Aerosmith? Because do you remember the movie Sergeant Peppers, the terrible movie uh, with Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees? Well, Aerosmith, they sang Can't Come Together. And I am embarrassed to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you. When I was a kid, I thought that Aerosmith wrote that song. We didn't listen to a lot of Beatles in our house growing up. So that is one of my, that's my shame. That is one of my shames. And while we're talking about things we're ashamed of, the other day I was saying to my hubby, um, <laughs> we should talk about the things that we're ashamed of. And one of my biggest shames, you'll never, you'll never guess. Um, because I don't, I don't believe in feeling ashamed of most things, but I'm a terrible egg cracker. Terrible, terrible. I have to crack eggs over a bowl every single time. Um, because if I crack an egg, everything goes everywhere. It's terrible, terrible. Yes, Aerosmith did. They they played the uh, the band. They played the band in that movie. Okay, so did I just completely screw that up? Yeah, I did. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta wipe some of this off. I went a little crazy. Hold on. Uh, let's wipe you off. Okay, you didn't need that glue there, so you needed it only here. Here we go. Her legs, her legs are coming together. Okay, we're gonna put you together like that. And now, there we go. All right, I mean, it's so funny. I I learned to love the Beatles um, after the fact. Like, I, I absolutely adore the Beatles now. Like, But it wasn't until I was in college that I bought my first Beatles album. And then I was just like, blown away, blown away. Because when I was a kid, I did not like anything that sounded like it was from the 60s. Boy, that changed. Boy, that changed. Okay, yeah, I matched her butt up. Her butt looks pretty good. And don't, I think we should say that about ourselves more often. Whether you think it does or not, you know what? Gets you through a lot of, a lot of hard times. All right, literally, because it cushions, it cushions you. Yeah, okay. Wow, this is, yeah, I, I'm gonna try to make my dentist appointment today, but you know, sometimes a live is gonna go longer. And that's okay, because we are seriously super close to that. Look at that. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. See, so what I was thinking was I will trim her shirt to match what is needed. Like, I'm going to probably, okay, let's get the shirt. Shirt's going to get trimmed. And which side goes down? That's kind of the swoopy side. Oh, actually, it might not even need to. Well, her, her booty goes up a little. That's going to get trimmed, and that's the arm. Let's put a hand on, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, does it matter which side? I don't think it does. So let's put, her, let's put her hand on. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, I guess I'm, I mean, I'm on as much as I'm going to be. I, I had a lot... See, let's see if she can be trendy. Like, you know how the girls that wear their, their uh, sleeves really, oh gosh, that didn't work at all. Hold on, what, what happened? No, she should, she should not be that far down. Hold on, there we go. You could use tape runner for this too, right? I mean, you don't, you wouldn't have to have it all be, there we go. Let's just hold it for a second. Mm. Also, if this is your first time catching me on YouTube, welcome. 
you know, I, uh, I like, I like having some fun when I'm card making. And, uh, this, my friends is, did I get her hand the right way? Okay. So yes, but where does her basket go? All right. We got the basket. Now let's, let's make our baguette. I'm going to make our baguette. And I think for this, um, yeah, we're just going to put a little glue on the die cut reverse side, which is there. Okay. I mean, this is not so bad, right? This is not really, um, extensive in, in the challenge of figuring out the dimension. I think it's kind of fun. And I'm proud of myself because at first when I saw this, I'm like, oh, paper piecing. Oh, thanks for sending this Concord and Ninth. But what am, what am I going to do with it? Um, I'm going to send this to my best friend and remind her never to call me at three o'clock or at noon or whatever time it is. <laughs> like, don't call me, girl. Don't do it. All right. And then to line up the bread, we just line up the bread. Ooh, it's like a pumper. It's like a pumpernickel dark baguette. Okay. Hey, Roberta. Uh, what else was I going to tell you? Yeah. Just a reminder that Friday night, I am going to be the guest on the craft roulette and I will, uh, it, I will have information coming out in my newsletter. So this is to put the baguette in a bag. <clears throat> I don't, I don't know if I'm going to, let's put that aside. Let's make a few flowers. Okay. But I'm very excited about the craft roulette. I think it's going to be super fun. And I'm excited about this. And now let's just build some flowers. Yeah, I don't know. It could, I mean, you know, I craft live. I kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, I meant to show you something. And I don't know where it is. Here it is. I probably won't have time to show you all the cute cards that I wanted to share this week. But this is from Karen. And Karen sent me this and I'm like, oh my gosh. And what is it? It's a pin cushion so that I can not lose my little pin. How cute is that? Okay. Okay. I could shorten my bag. Okay. Let's see. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make our blooms first. So let's get some of you. And again, this, this could be fancier. You know, you, you know, you could just do, you know, whatever floats your boat. But I think what floats my boat today is, where's my pickup tool? Isn't that cute? Karen, I don't know if you're watching, but you know, I really appreciate that. Okay. You're going there like that. And then you're going to overlap like that. Here's the fun thing about these blooms. You can do whatever feels right. Okay. Whatever, you know, you're just, you know, you're going to take your dragon fruit flowers and you're going to go. One. Oh, so cute. I'm going to go two. Like that. Oh, I don't know. You know, three. Oh, so cute. Isn't that cute? Adrienne Craft Roulette is a live improv card making show that is hosted by a woman named Mary Gunn. And she has people come on and it's... They spin the wheel and there's like four parameters and you can veto some and it's just a funky live card making show where literally anything can happen. You don't really know what's going to happen until you're there and you get it going and I'm going to do it this Friday night and you can watch many past episodes that Mary has um, if you are interested and yeah, it's uh. It's going to be fun. Which way do I go on that? I think I go, I think I go that way. And here's what we're going to do. I guess we're going to say, uh, did I want some greenery? You know what? I'm going to add one more thing in here because I would like a sprig. Hold on here. Yeah, it's a live crafting show. Hold on just a second. Let me see. Oh, I do. Look, I have enough. Let me tape this down. And we're going to, we're going to be doing stuff. But the fun thing is, is you don't know what the parameters are going to be. And you can all, you are also encouraged to make cards along with uh, Mary and her guest each week. So I think it's going to be a blast <clears throat> and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, let's cut this out.
you know, it's really hilarious is that Franklin is still here sound asleep. So on all the days that he could have <laughs> been here, he's here. He's just funny. He's funny that way. Okay, so we're going to get a little extra greenery as needed. Oh, don't do that, Kathy. Don't flip it. And now I do have to stamp still. So one little greeting, and I think that will be just fine. But here, I'm just going to figure out my bag. Okay, so I'm going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, there it goes. <clears throat> we're good. <laughs> Alberto, hello. Oh, nice to see you here, my friend. Okay, so we've got our little like that. Now I think what I would do is I'm gonna glue, I'm gonna just put a little glue on the back of my greenery, right? Like that. That's what I like about this set is it really can be um, kind of like whatever, whatever you want it to be. And we can trim flowers as needed. Um, I'm going to say you are going to go in here too. Yeah, the thing about Craft Roulette is I didn't know about the show, and then I watched Gina's show, and I made cards right along with Mary and Gina, and it was it was a blast. And I just think Mary's whole setup is amazing, and I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to be a guest. All right, again, willy nilly is fine here because I'm. Like that. Okay, that's very fun. Um, <laughs> come here. Oh, this is cute. I may have to do the tie, but you know what? I can just do it with a tiny piece of craft. Let's go here, like that. Okay. All right, we're getting, we're getting there. We are getting there. Okay. So here's what's so fun is that just comes over. Uh, I guess I'm going to come up a little bit like that. Okay, because I would like that to, and then I'm just going to fold it over and I'm going to glue it. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to glue it. Okay, come here, a little glue. Like that. And I will, I will hold this down and I will pull out that little tie. Like I said, I wish I had this on a big magnet because I think that would be, oh, there's the tie. I can see it. You can see it. I got it. Got it. Get out there. There we go. Okay. And I think that should be good. I'll hold that down and we'll just take a little BB, a little BB, and we'll cut it. Uh, I will tape you so you don't go sliding around. Okay. All right. One more cut. You don't need to see this on camera, but we're going. I, can't, I keep looking at the clock and thinking, four, four o'clock. Not four o'clock. All right. Okay. And we're going to put this on. Now, let's see. We shall see. Oh, there you go. The drop technique, I'm telling you, sometimes it works like a charm. All right. But again, putting this back in, because this is just screaming, please lose me, Kathy, and I just don't want to. Yeah, just a little, well, wait, where would I put the, where, they have the bow kind of at the bottom. Okay. All right, all right. Again, paper piecing, who knew? Who knew? And all the little scrappy scraps, oh, that is just, the tone on tone of this is so cute. Oh, this is adorable. This is adorable. Okay. The, oh my gosh, Kathy, this totally looks like one of those stickers that would have the foam squares on it already. All right, this is what we're doing. This is all that's going in our bag. Flowers and the baguette. And I don't, I'm not gonna add any more. Okay. So the next thing I have to do, and I'm going to do this is figure out, well, she'll, that gets added next and you guys are going to be here, but I need to get my greeting. And I do think just a simple hello. I already sent my mom, uh, her mother's day card, which she did get. She called me the other day and said she loved it. And if you wonder what I sent to her, it was the card that I did on Simon's stamp live. And Oh, I love how it turned out. Okay, so let me get my smaller Misty. Hold on. 
because I have my other in, and I need some ink. Oh, shoot. Um, hold on here. Oh, hi, Franklin. Hi, little buddy. How are you doing over there? I just need to grab, I don't see it. Hmm. Hold on here. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's so cute. My favorite ink for stamping little sentiments really is this GDK ink. I, I trust this so much and it always seems to work for me. So we're gonna move you up here like this. Okay, get our cute things out. And of course I could keep going and add up the, you know, fill up the basket with, with all kinds of things, but I am not going to do that. I'll go there, oh, hold on. He's, if, if, if he's still here at the end of the live, I'll pick him up and I'll give him a little snuggle. So here's what I want to do. I want, and I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut a little bit off from the top here once I place this, but I'm not plate. Well, I could place it now actually. Hmm. Cause this does not need to be, you know what? I'm going to do it. Check it out. We're going to do this. I'm going to make sure the foot is straight. Just a little there, like that. Okay. And I'm gonna put her right there. The shirt. Like that. Let that sit for a minute. And put the little hand here. Isn't this fun? I know I should put a wine bottle in, but if I had if I had all day, because you know we're we're just, you know, we're just making stuff. Uh, yeah, she goes basically there. Okay, there's her arm. And we're gonna press you down. So cute. Okay. Then we are going to trim her a little bit. And let me just make sure that I get that where I want it. Because I love the idea of the frame here, but I want her shoe to be there. So uh, I love that, that it's breaking that little plane. And so here's how, here's how we're going to do it. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to just gently tape her into place. We're going to flip her, <laughs> we're going to flip her over and I'm just going to put a little, a little pencil mark. Cause I want it to be straight. I don't want it to be not straight. Yeah, that's just how I'm going to roll on this one. And now, uh, bring in my baby trimmer. And we're just going to cut her right on that line by lining it up on my paper trimmer like that. And cut. I just wanted it to be a nice, straight, crisp line. There we go. All right. So now, let's come back in. And let's get you out, because I don't think I need you now. Well, no, I don't. I don't need you now. Because now I know she's going to line up on here. And maybe, let me let me just do the basket, because I feel like maybe the basket is going to be right there. Uh, or is it going to be more in the front? Oh, that is so cute. I think it might be more in the front. Let me see, I may have to move her over a little bit more so that her little greeting can go there. Yeah, I think that's where she's gonna go, so. Uh-huh. Tape you for a second. <laughs> here we go. All right, you come out, you come here, magnet in, let's get our little greeting. And actually thinking of you could be very cute. Do I have enough room? I do. I'm going to do it. And here, here's a beautiful thing. Even if something like this got messed up, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter because it's just a background panel, right? So you could totally mess up if you needed to. And you know what I mean by that. All right. Is my head here? I think we're straight. I'm just going to stand up over this a little. I think that's pretty straight. Oh, that's so I could test it, but you know what? I kind of feel like right now I'm good. I'm good. And also when I finish this card, I'll have to take pictures when I get back from the dentist. Oh, hey Beth. Good to see you. Okay. We're going to prime. We're going to, um, I 
yeah, I can, I can leave her there. We're going to take our black onyx ink and this is something I've started doing and I learned it from Gina. It's like a couple light taps is so much nicer for the greeting than lots of heavy pushing. And you get your first layer down and you think, okay, that's good. But then you just go lightly and you take advantage of the misty by not pressing too hard, just nice and light. And as long as the paper doesn't move, right? you're getting this nice, inky, dark impression. And I really like that without squishing the greeting. That looks fantastic. All right. You'll shoot your eye out. I remember that movie. Oh, that is a classic. Okay. Now, of course, there's other parts to this um, set that you can do with your bottle and all these good things, but I, Gonna pick this up. Now here's the thing, I'm very tempted to do this and I think I'm going to, and that is, I'm going to pop this up on my note card with some thin foam tape. So let me grab that. I have the Big Mama Roll from Simon and this, I don't, I don't think I have this linked, but it's a, it is a thinner loft this one that I'm using. And I think this would benefit from a little loft, but not a ton. So let's come over here. Also, thank you for being here today. I appreciate you, each and every one of you, for coming on your lunch hour. I wonder too, and probably will give this a try this summer, especially if I end up getting air conditioning. I'll probably do some evening lives. Uh, it'd be fun to try. It'd be fun to do a Wednesday night, right? You know, just see. Maybe, maybe there will be a glass of wine. I don't, I don't know. You know, red wine and crafting. They do go together. I mean, I think, oops, I think we, I think we, we can agree on that. All right. So now let's begin our assembly. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Now I'm going to, I think, did I cut that weird? No, this is going to be fine. I'm going to tape this to my surface. Yeah, it is big. <laughs> Belinda, truer words were never spoken. I don't want this to shift. Actually, come up here. There we go. And let's zoom in a little. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to add a little liquid glue to the back. All right. I think this is going to be the longest live I've ever done. And that's okay. You know, sometimes... I mean, making a card from beginning to end in an hour, sometimes, you know, like I said, I could have done all the die cutting ahead of time, but that I just, for my lives, I just like to, you know, I just like to make stuff. I like to do it along here with you and see how it goes and, all right. I'm going to use the liquid here because the liquid glue, as you know, will give it a little float time before the foam sticks. And, you know, when you're trying to get decently precision placement, I gotta stand up here. You just want, you know, you want, as Laura Basson says, the heart wants what the heart wants, right? And what this heart wants is just a straight little placement. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Right? So we are, we are, we are having our wall float. I think that's funky. Funky but chic. Now, you know what? I am going to have to come up a little bit. I got to cut a little more of her arm off. Hold on, sweetie. <laughs> we're going to, where, where'd the trimmer go? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, because I do, I don't want her foot right coming off the card. So let's pick you up. And we're just going to take a little bit more off her little body. Like, line it up. Come up like that. And cut love this little trimmer. This has been, this has been the whole thing about the minis. I mean, yeah, Laura, this is one of those things. It's like, it's so specific and it's just, oh, but look how cute. Look how cute that is. Okay. So we're going to glue her down and then we're going to figure out, does her hand, should her hand be behind? Oh yes. Yes. Okay. We're gluing. We're gluing. We're gluing her down. Here we go. 
Franklin still sound asleep. That, I tell you, that cat, I love him. I love him. I don't know if I really need the most, the most glue just needs to be here. I think that'll be fine. I don't think I need to double it up because we're just getting it to stay in place, right? We're coming here. We're buttoning up against here. We're sliding you back a little, like that. Now here's another cool thing about having a T-square. Um, you can just use it so like I can make sure that this is lined up. And we're just gonna hold that down with glue. I kind of like that her shirt's white and kind of just blends in. It does kind of disappear a little bit, but you know what? I don't know, I think it's very cute. Now to finish this off, we are going to have her flowers and her baguette, or do we just want to have her holding a bouquet like that? Oh, <gasps> what if she's holding the bouquet? Oh gosh. You know what? I'm just saying, I think that's cuter because then you see all the flowers. Oh goodness gracious. What do we think? Isn't that cute? I, I just don't know if I want my flowers to be held inside the basket, but what if I had, see, cause you're kind of losing the bread. You know what? I could, could I put the bag on top? I mean, the bag could be on top. You could have, I don't know. What do you think? Like, I love this so much, but I almost just want just the flowers. Oh, and I just think that's very sweet, right? Lose the bread, keep the flowers. You know what? That's going to be our card. Not saying that I, I, because I, I really loved that idea, but once I saw this, I didn't want to lose them. Okay. It, that's like literally so stinking cute. And that's where surprises happen. And I, I friggin' love that about card making. I absolutely love it because you're working on something, you come up with an idea, you think it's gonna work great, and then you come up with something else, and holy buckets, that is, I don't think I have enough glue under there, but let me let me slide in here a little. There we go, come on, get in there. There we go, ah, hold on, don't have enough glue. Okay. Wasn't thinking. We got this. We got this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're coming in. I love that that's over her and that is breaking the plane right like that. Mm, and that's our, we're almost there. We're almost there. And yes, anytime you break that plane, which I love doing, now in hindsight, I do wish I would have gone with a color for her shirt, but you know what? I think that is adorable. And that's our finished card project. Oh my gosh. She's just carrying the flowers. And you know what? You know what you could do? You could totally put this on the inside, but I'm gonna set this aside because my goal is to keep using this card, uh, this set. But look at, oh, I love it. I love it. So fun. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's it. That's it for today. Um, let's see, do we still have a split screen? I'm gonna see. Hey, we do still have a split screen. Let me take the little friends off. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? All right, well, Frankie, you're still asleep. And uh, I'm gonna pick him up and just let, him see, let you see him for a minute. But thank you for coming today, everyone. Now, here's the thing. So, Friday night, just to remind you, uh, I'm putting my pen back in so I don't forget. Um, we're going to have the craft roulette. Let me show you that little promo piece again. Uh, hold on here. Hold on. We got we to gotta clean some things up. So here we go. This is for your calendar, okay? Craft roulette, Friday night, improv card making. Many of you already know the show. Um, and that's going to be me and Mary, and we're going to be here. I am not going to have my hair down like that because you know, you know, that just doesn't, that just doesn't fly with me. And yeah, Friday nights and central time, 6, 10 PM is when they start the slideshow and we're going to have a blast. So I hope you can make it and let me grab my little friend here.
And this is my, this is my Frankie. And Frankie says, why did you wake me up? Isn't he getting bigger? Look at him. Mm. He's the best. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. All the links can be found below. Um, I am going to go bite this cat's little cheeks because I love him so much. Sorry, buddy. I'll put you back. Here you go. There you go. He's, he's like, please, I was sleeping. Um, yeah, all the links are below and I will take pictures later. I will post them both to the uh, creator tab in my community here on YouTube, Instagram as well. And thanks for watching. So I hope you all have a great day. And until then, uh, if you want to keep in touch with me in the description, there is a link to subscribe to my newsletter. It's not super annoying. It's, it's, it's what it is, but it will remind you when I have a new video, when I have new product releases or any other news that I want to share. So that link is in the description. If you're not a subscriber, I'm going to go get ready to go get my teeth cleaned and I will see you all back here with another card project soon. Thank you so much for being here. And where's the end screen? Oh, I think we lost it. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.